The flash bulbs are alight, the red carpet is full. I'm Joe Pike and this is the What's On Stage .com Awards 2012 in association with Time Out London. I'm really, really impressed by this, um, this ceremony. It's the kind of ceremony I enjoy, not stuffy. I like that. To think that it's, it's an award thing where people sit by themselves in their house and go, yeah, that person should win. There's yeah. no council of people or whatever. Do you think they're all by themselves in their houses? Is that how you see them? <laughs> yes. Are you all by yourselves? Yes. They really are the heartbeat of, of British theatre. They are. Without them, there really is nothing, you know. Um, so it's... Um, it's vitally important that awards like this exist. Theatre goers who, who you know who uh, who paid for their tickets, you know that that's you know what one really um, you know those are the people one really wants to to uh, feel they've had a good night out. We wouldn't be here if, if it wasn't for for the people at home, and you know they do support theatre and they support me and they support us. So you know for them, thank you so so much. It, it really this is for you as well. So thank you. We're now joined by the best ensemble. It's London, the cast of London Road. How does it feel? Great. Yay! Brilliant. Really good. Absolutely really good. brilliant. Because it's been such an ensemble from day one <laughs> and we just love each other to bits. So to be here sharing this tonight is fantastic. Yeah. Having a What's On Stage Awards is really very special because it's, as you say, it is voted by the public for the public and the public can give their appreciation on who they want to win. And I think it, it's, it's terrific that What's On Stage, which is run for the people who love theatre, uh, like myself, and none of us would be here if it wasn't for the producers putting on these shows. So uh, it's great to support them. No, no, they can't take that away from me. The way your smile just leaves. I think all of us who were involved in that show were born along on a tide of just great feeling from our audiences. So this award is completely perfect in that sense because it reflects what our experience of performing Much Ado, putting Much Ado on was in the West End last summer. Bizarre, it's not even sunk in, it's crazy. I got really nervous actually as they read my name out, I was like, oh God, no, this is crazy. And then seeing Sheridan up there as well, and I told the story of when she stayed with me, I got hit by a car last year and I couldn't be here. And so to be here kind of a year to the day um, and have her there, it was all kind of a bit crazy and a, and a bit emotional. Really. Oh, this year was loads of fun because I got me mate with me. Um, no, I love it every year. It's such a nice award because it's voted for by the public and lovely Terry always asks me back. I don't know why. You should have got rid of me by now. I was here with Terry, well not here, but around with Terry when it first began and it really put a, a kick up the pants, I think, of, of the established musical theatre industry, which it needed, I think. So I think it's a great sort of foil. And uh, yeah, as Kerry says, it's real people who come and see these things. That's what you want to know, really, that people like it. They just had a vision, almost like a prophecy. This is the 15th uh, anniversary of, the, of What's On Stage existing. Um, what do you think a website like What's On Stage provides for the sort of theatre community? I actually get the updates. I'm, I'm actually signed in, so I get the updates, and it's brilliant because it does highlight everything that's new and what's going on in, in, in town and, and on tour. It really has that kind of broad overview of everything that's going on, so it's, it does bring it to people, which is great. It has aged me, but it has been the most incredible 15 years of my life, uh, and I am so proud uh, to see uh, the website and these awards grow so much and that's on the back of uh, a tremendous audience and support. The theatre goers are fantastic. Thank you all very much. They pay to see shows, you know? And that means that they're biased in your favour to begin with. So you better do them a good job because they really are giving themselves to you on an evening. No, I had no idea what to expect. <laughs> I expected Shrek, that's what I expected. <laughs> and then this rather dashing young man appeared. Write a verse, recite a joke, it's the chance for, you know, all these shows to come together and give a little bit of themselves, but also the audiences get their chance to, to, to applaud the people they voted for, to see the people they, they like to see, and, and the, the atmosphere in that auditorium is just something so special. The greatest thing for us at the end of the night is to hear the sobs in the audience at the end, and you can actually hear people going, ah, and crying, and that's... That's when our job is done properly. We already know all the rumours of everything that's coming in the autumn of 2012 and also into the spring of 2013, you know. And I don't want to steal people's thunder, but, you know, the rumours around, uh, you know, Book of Mormon and Bodyguard and other things, and it's for them to announce what's happening with all of those. But I think it's very exciting, the future. If you work with really brilliant people, those kind of things can, can actually happen. The great thing about tonight is... What a good show it is. It really is. You know, you go to some stuffy award ceremonies 
you've got two fant well three fantastic compares and everyone is just having a ball and as you say they are the people's vote and that makes it really, really special. I couldn't think of a nicer award to get really because it feels like someone's saying you're part of the theatre world now and you know, you're new to this world but stick around and that's what I want to do, so that's good. I was smooching and sucking up to the cast and crew and producers and directors of Matilda, um, the musical. I don't know, there's no real point actually because I, I can't get a part in a musical because I'm unable to sing. This year with the World Shakespeare Festival and Matilda running forever and ever and ever, we're going to completely rule the world, which will be great. I did Matilda in Stratford and then Matilda, and then Ghost in Manchester, then Ghost in London, then Matilda in London. And then, and now I'm doing Ghost in New York. Thanks, Rob, for all your technical problems. Um, but uh, no, I mean, I'm just kind of glad in a way that we weren't part of the original cast that had to tech it for weeks in Manchester and weeks in London. I just, I'm really stoked about it. I've never, uh, I've never been involved in anything. It's been so much fun and has been so adored, and uh, that I've just enjoyed working on. And to then to get, you know, to get people to vote for me for something like this is just, it's just totally thrilling and brilliant. And I'm just stoked. Sometimes other awards, you get a whiff of what's going on, you know, who's on the jury, how have they come to that compromise. I think what's on stage, not only is it important for the awards this evening to be streamed on, online, I think it's important that everyone supports what's on stage throughout newspapers, throughout the internet, and just talking about it, because what's on stage actually brings a 24-7 website to life for people who want to talk about theatre. For photos and a full list of the winners, including the all-important voting breakdown, follow the links on whatsonstage.com.